so hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video and in this video i'll cover problem c that was recover an rbs from education round 132 so let's get started also if you guys are new to the channel please leave a like on the video because i am making this video mid contest right so you guys can see it on time so a like will be highly appreciated yeah so let's move on to the problem now So in the problem, we have been given a regular bracket sequence. So something like this. I will explain what a RBS is later. I will explain what a RBS is later on in the problem. So we have been given a RBS in which we have replaced some of the brackets with question marks. So we have like a new sequence, something like this. And given the sequence, we have to tell if it's possible to form a unique RBS from this rep replacing the question mark. So if you replace the question marks in the following sequence, if it's possible to form a unique RBS, that is you can only from one RBS from this one unique RBS, then the answer is yes. Otherwise, the answer is no. If you want to see some examples for if you have an example like two question marks, then the only RBS that you can form from this is opening and closing, right? So this is the only RBS that you can form from this. So the answer for the following sequence is yes. But if you have, if you have something like uh, opening uh, question marks and closing, then you can form two sequences here. One is open, open, close, close, and one is open, close, open, close, right? So the following sequences are not unique, right? So the answer for the following sequence is no. And the answer for this is yes. So you have been given such a sequence and you have to answer in yes or no, if it's possible to form a unique RBS or not. So first of all, I will start with a definition that will help us solve the problem. So first of all, we'll start with the definition that will help us solve the problem. What is an RBS? RBS is basically, basically uh, a sequence of brackets in which you can equate every opening bracket to a plus one and you can equate every closing bracket to a minus one. And in an RBS, all the prefix sum must be non-negative, right? So all the prefix sum all prefix sum should be greater than or equal to zero that are there should be non-negative and your last prefix sum should be equal to zero right so if your uh, sequence obeys the following two properties right then your bracket sequence is an rbs for example if you if you take something like this uh, open open close close open close this is plus one plus one minus one minus one plus one minus one so if you try to find the prefix sum for this it will be how much? Here will be 1, here will be 2, uh, here will be 1, here will be 0, here will be 1, here will be 0. So you can see all the prefix sums are non-negative and the last prefix sum is equal to 0. So the following sequence is an RBS. Uh, right? So following the definition of RBS, so how can we use this to solve the problem? So before we move on to solve the problem, we know that our, strings, uh, our string has some question marks, right? We know our string has uh, some question marks. So I can take an example from the problem itself. And let's see this one. Mm, two brackets and a question mark. So the first step to solving the problem is we will try to find how many of these question marks, uh, how many of these question marks are opening and how many of the question, these question marks are closing. So how can we find that? So first of all, we know that uh, your last uh, your last prefix sum should be equal to zero, right? So if you try to find the prefix sum without the question marks, it will give you some count. For example, if if we try to ignore these question marks and try to find the prefix sum, we will get how much? We will uh, keep these question marks. So here is plus one, here is plus one. We will keep these as zeros. Here is plus one, sorry, here is minus one here. Minus one, zero, zero, plus one, minus one. Mm, here is a zero and here is a minus one. So if you try to find the uh, last pre prefix sum for this, it will be how much? It will be zero, one, here is my prefix sum. 1, 0, uh, this is 0 again, plus 1, this is 0 again, 0, and this is minus 1. So if you see, now your last prefix sum is equal to minus 1, right? 
so for the following sequence to be an rbs your last sum should be equal to 0 right so if your last sum is equal to 0 the question marks must contribute plus 1 here because we are missing a plus 1 here right because if, if there is a plus 1 here the following sum would be 0 so the question marks that we have here are contributing plus 1 so we know that question marks are contributing how much plus 1 so you can say your opening brackets minus closing brackets is equal to how much Plus one, right? Because they are contributing plus one, so opening minus closing should be equal to plus one. And you know that your opening plus closing is equal to how much? Is equal to three, right? That is equal to opening plus closing is equal to question mark. And how many question marks we have? We have three question marks, so we can write just three here. So now your opening minus closing is equal to one, and your open plus closing is equal to three. So if you try to solve this, you will get how much? Open and two times open is equal to four. So you will get your opening is equal to two, and you will get your closing is equal to how much? Two times closing is equal to two. So you will get your closing is equal to one, right? So from three brackets that you have, two of them are opening, and one of them is closing, right? So how can we find a solution using this? So as we said in our definition that all your prefix sums have to be greater than equal to zero, right? So if you want to make all your prefix sums greater than equal to zero, what is the optimal approach? Optimal approach is to place all the positive elements or uh, all the opening brackets in the starting and place all the closing brackets in the end. So the optimal approach for this is to make all your prefix sums more than equal to zero. place all opening brackets in starting and it will always and it will it will always give you a rbs why so because in the problem we took a rbs and we replace some question marks to find this question mark sequence right so if you apply the optimal approach to this we will again get back our rbs we may not get our original rbs but we will get some rbs right so for example uh, if you have the sequence that we had previously that was question mark this 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 and this we know that it has two opening brackets and we have one closing brackets right as we found right here so uh, as in the optimal approach we will replace the first two brackets with the opening brackets so i will replace this and this with opening brackets and i will replace the last one with the closing bracket so something like this so as you can see the following is an rbs right so when you apply an optimal approach to the bracket sequence right you will get back an rbs right so if you apply the optimal approach to the question marks you will get back your uh, rbs so now we know that we can always generate one rbs we can always generate one rbs using optimal approach we can always generate one rbs using optimal approach and now we want to check if we can generate a second rbs right if, and now we now we want to check if we can generate a second rbs so how can we check that so if you see your optimal approach in your optimal approach you placed all your opening brackets in the starting right we had some question marks and you assigned all the opening brackets in the starting and you assigned all the closing brackets in the end right so you followed the following uh, sequence so you uh, first gave all the question marks opening brackets and then you gave all the left or question marks closing brackets so this was your optimal approach right so uh, what will be a second optimal approach right because if your optimal approach was giving you an rbs and then we can check if your second optimal approach will give you an rbs so now we can check if your second optimal approach will give you an rbs or not so uh, what will be a second optimal approach right uh, in the first optimal approach you placed all your closing uh, all your opening brackets in the starting in second optimal approach you can place all but one you can like if you have x opening brackets here and you have y closing brackets here you can place x minus 1 in the starting right then you can place one closing bracket 
then you can again place your opening bracket and then you can again place y minus one closing brackets right so this will be your second optimal approach so we know that our optimal approach will always always gives us an rbi so now we can just check for a second optimal approach and if it's giving us an rbi or not because if our second optimal approach is not giving giving us an rbi then no other approach will give us an rbi right so that will be a solution so let's do the same thing on our on our example to check this we have question mark opening right We have the following sequence. So our first optimal approach, we have two opening brackets. So we'll assign the two opening brackets here and a closing bracket here. So we'll get the following sequence, right? And the following sequence is an RBS. Now we'll try for a second optimal approach. In second optimal approach, we had two opening and a closing. So now we can swap one opening and closing. So we will have opening, closing and opening. So now we, so, so now we can assign that here and check we have opening 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 so now we have to sign the closing bracket here right so just keep an eye on these three now, now we have to sign a closing here so if you see again the following sequence is again an rbs so now we have two rbs the first opt optimal approach also gave us an rbs and the second optimal approach also gave, gave us an rbs so now the following sequence has uh, the following sequence does not have a unique rbs right so the answer for the following sequence is no right so that's basically the gist of the problem you have to uh, first uh, you don't have to check using the optimal approach because the optimal approach will always give you an rbs you just need to check for your second approach if your second approach is giving you an rbs let's also see a case where the second opti optimal approach will not give us an rbs so for example if you have uh, two question marks now first of all we need to find the number of opening brackets and the number of closing brackets so count here is zero itself right so we know opening minus closing is equal to zero and open plus closing is equal to number of question marks that is equal to two so if you apply that here you will get open equal to one and you will get your close equal to one right so now we have one opening bracket and one closing bracket so if you apply the optimal approach we will first place a opening and then place a closing so the following approach gave us an rbs and if you apply the second optimal approach that is you swap one closing and one opening you will apply, uh, you will first place a closing and then place a opening so the following sequence is not an rbs right so the so the second optimal approach is not gi giving us an rbs so the, the only unique rbs for this is the first one right so the answer for the following question will be yes so that will be the gist and if i have to summarize once again the summary of the problem will be uh use uh, opening minus closing equations and open plus close close equations uh, to find open and close brackets uh, optimal approach will always give us give us an rbs optimal approach will always give us an rbs so just check if second optimal approach will give us an rbs or not if it's giving us an rbs if yes right if if it's giving us an rbs then the answer is no otherwise the answer is yes right so that is the solution right and if you guys want to see the code for this here is my code so first of all i am counting the number of question marks and checking my count so i can find my opening and closing brackets so if x is equal to closing count plus plus x is equal to uh, open count minus minus why am i uh, why am i doing this in reverse because because in the end if my prefix sum is equal to minus one if my prefix sum is equal to minus one then my opening minus closing is equal to one right so i am just doing this in reverse so i don't have to do do this minus one thing here so i first uh, keep my uh, check my counter that is my prefix sum and then i also keep my question mark buffer 
and then using the following equations open minus close is equal to count and open plus close is equal to buffer i will uh, count number of opening and closing brackets if any of these are zero right then there is only one way to assign right, right? so the answer in that case is obviously yes itself otherwise i will uh, build the second optimal string right that is open minus one times this and, and it is a swap that we have here i swapped one opening and closing brackets so the following swap and then close close minus one closing brackets then I will just update in the string and I will just check if my string is RBS or not. If it's not RBS, then the answer is yes, right? Otherwise the answer is no. So I hope you guys understood the problem and the solution. And if you guys have a doubt, do let me know or you can join my Discord server and I can help you solve your doubts there. See you guys in the next video. Also, if you guys don't know, Continue Newton School is offering a full stack development course. The course is uh, over six months long and it is totally based on pay after placement model and you don't have to pay anything there is zero hidden fees there is zero upfront fees and they are granting you a minimum package of rupees 5 lakhs and the average package is rupees 7 lakhs and the highest package is over rupees 26 lakhs so it is a very great opportunity also all their mentors are from top mncs like google flipkart zomato etc also they will get you placed into the top mncs as well like google flipkart zomato uh, so uh, you can learn from the mentors that are working at those companies and you can land a job at those companies yourselves Also, you don't need to worry if you guys think yeah, I'm coding aati nahi hai, maybe fresher mein bhi nahi aata hai. the course is over six months long and they will teach you from scratch So you can still sign up for this and if you guys are looking for a career in the tech field This is a very uh, this is a very great head start that you should sign up for and if you uh, Want to land a job. I highly uh, I highly vouch for this and uh, if you guys want to sign up there will be a link down below and you can go and sign up from there So yeah, be sure to sign up for this and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye